one, two, three. Welcome back to another video of NBA My Career. We're just gonna go hop right into it. Uh, return to the office and prep your top takes daily interview. So let's talk to her. Ash, not one chair? I don't do chairs. So what about your guests? We always gonna stand, stare at you? Guests? No. Did you come in here to drag me from my office decor or do you wanna prep for top takes daily? Let's prep. Great, all right. Yeah. So obviously what Shep said was beyond the pale, uh, but you've already felt. been memed to death on social media, so it's not like it's going anywhere. You know what, Ash, the more and more soon. I think about Shep right now, the angry I'm getting, so I'd rather not talk about this. Okay, be that as it may, you will have to talk about it. And Mila? you can't you spoke about lose Mila on your TV? cool on national television. I don't care about TV, that is not cool. I'm sorry, do you think that this is a prestige TV show? They're gonna ask you about it, you're gonna talk about it, and you're gonna get your emotions in check. Do you understand? That was not acceptable. Sure. Tell that to him when you see him in person. Oh, I will. But when you talk about it on TV, because believe me, you will have to talk about it on TV, you need to keep an even keel. You can say that the comment was unacceptable. You you can even call him trash if you want. But isn't I don't that care. basically losing my cool again? Not if it's true, okay? The main thing is you need to keep your cool so that it doesn't look like you're about to attack Kendrick Perkins for bringing it up on television. That's gonna make you look weak. Okay. I can get with that. You could also, you could play the disappointed parent card, right? This is weird, guys. Oh, I, I expected more from my fellow man. The NBA is a brotherhood, blah, blah, blah. I just wanna blah. go to the game without doing all these side challenges. Head to the Top Tick Daily Studio. All right, guys, we're headed to the Top Tick Daily Studio. And as you heard, we do not have to talk to Chef Owen. How do you guys feel about Chef Owen? Just tell me down in the comment section. What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Trying to ride your coattails. You wanna, uh... Ah, and here he is. MP, my name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Chef Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will of course treat MP No snacks up. in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got I'm it, not got asking it. For Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll of course treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey. How does it feel to get a boot on draft night? I want to have this. That just comes with the territory, you know? Huh. Like, we make a lot of money. And it's all because of those passionate fans out there. Night in and night out, coming into the games and showing their support. It's because of them. You know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want. But it don't matter to me. Uh, I'm, I mean, are we serious God, right now? Flying. Listen, MP, <laughs> with all due I respect, just... do you expect <laughs> us to believe that? 
if I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run, people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game. You know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job. You know, so I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. Oh, I mean, wow. all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> it's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. Some would. You don't think, Sh come on now. Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know, honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Sir, come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put, simply put. Not like I do, at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line. You can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever. But those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? You know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, my opponent. Don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. You know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and we got to wrap things up, but you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions. We wish you all the best, you and your family and your girl. Uh, coming up next, we talk early season contenders jokes, and pretenders, but first, this commercial break. Okay, we're done with talking to you today. That was something. Time to play our game finally after like 12,000 million trillion years. We're just, just gonna take the subway because like, I don't want to use my skateboard. Do do do. I 
if that person was doing doing the do. still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? sharp first quarter of action just under three and a half minutes played and here's Adams from that the arc like, it's rebounded by McLemore Memphis leading here's Jones and he buries his first look when they get their opportunity to punch it inside they don't hesitate Brooklyn has gone two for four from range to start things off. When it comes to the Grizzlies, a lot of this season is about erasing the memory of their playoff loss last year. It was a disappointing end to their season. And that one's good. Sharp. The pass first nature of Simmons. Fantastic job scanning the floor and finding the open teammate. Jones against Adams. Pulls it in from the elbow. Good. Jones Good. misses. Good. That's a shot he'd like back. Pass He's usually going to make those. What is he like? Simmons, the pass to Adams. Oh, From no. downtown. So Jones close. grabs the board. 
Memphis has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Here's McLemore. No good from outside. Brooklyn trailing. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Warren. Down low. Adams, the pass to Warren. Banked it in off the glass. You gotta guard Warren close, especially when he's lurking inside looking to score. Here's McLemore. Simmons defending. Four seconds left. McLemore gets the bucket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Desmond Bain getting it done for Memphis. He's checked in for Claxton. Harris comes in for Durant. Simmons is checked in for Sumner. And Adams is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. They're out there with Tyus Jones. Then it's Xavier Tillman. And it's Williams in at the three. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. These officials. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. On the wing, Jones. Adams covering. Just five on the clock. Here's Tillman. Out to the right wing. Pass to Williams. Simmons defending. Now Jones. They shoot again. That's good on the jumper. And the Grizzlies lead by five. And I love it. This Challenging the bigger defender and showing plenty of heart. He's not going to back down from anyone. Got to commend the fearless attitude right there. Outside Warren. Inside. MP outside. From outside the arc. Nets keep it alive. Here's Simmons. Adams against Jones. Pass to Harris. And here's Warren. Here's Adams. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Jones. This is so stupid. Here's Williams. And it's blocked. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Three-pointer sharp. The shot no good. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Grizzlies leading by five. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. That's how I feel. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Memphis Grizzlies. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. K Sports Halftime. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Desmond Bain. Yeah, they've done an And so in the game for the Nets, Nicholas Claxton out there with T.J. Warren. Then it's Edmund Sumner. Then it's M.P. And it's Simmons in at the shooting guard position. And it's Morant missing. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Adam 
Shots good. And talking about MP, what a college career he had. Just fantastic in school, a star on many levels. MP playing three years before coming to the NBA. That is rare these days, but I think it was great for his overall development. Good of course, job. it helps winning a title in school. McLemore's checked in for Moran. Here's McLemore. He's off on that one. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Well, thinking about the Aussie Ben Simmons. Such an impressive defender, Richard. Honestly, he's a defensive player of the year caliber player every year. Mainly due to his ability to guard any position. This is the type of versatility that isn't seen very often. Oh, love the confidence Warren had on that shot. He knows how consistent he is at that range. Memphis has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Oh, oh, breaking ankle. Here's Jones on the wing, McLemore. Pass to Williams on the wing, Jones. Jacks up a three. Ben Simmons grabs the board. Simmons has got five rebounds in the game. Out of bounds, it'll be Grizzlies oh my ball. God. What are you doing? And the Nets also making a change. Harris is checked in. Here's Jones. And he drives in, lays it up, and banks it in. Jones has got his third basket on the night right there. And here are the Nets now. They're on a 14-6 run to the paint. Here's Simmons. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Adams has got three assists tonight. Pass to McLemore. On the wing, Bain. Takes a three. Memphis the rebound. Tips. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's McLemore. Simmons defending. Tillman. Soft touch off the glass. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. To the left wing. Harris outside. The ball's knocked loose. And so it's Memphis with a six point. This game is a really trying game. comes in for Irving. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Moran against Adams. Adams with a screen on Adams. Here's Moran. Another shot. And it's laid in by Adams. And the Grizzlies lead by... We've got 123 left in the fourth. And here's Durant. Left side Curry. Here's Adams. Get the rebound. Here's Claxton. And the Woo! He's paid for. Have to make the effort to box no! out. Yeah, I'm going to go out and win here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Xavier Tillman is out there with Steven Adams. And it's Brooks in at the small forward. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Here's Adams. And so he draws the foul. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. He drops the first one. And that narrows the lead down to just three. 
Hits yeah. Hope from the strike. Hey, a steady hand at the line in a tough situation. He narrows it to a one possession game. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Yeah, he stays with it. No! He lost the game. They can't afford to waste this shot. Moments like this are what it's all about. No! It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. is playing with 110 percent effort the grizzlies making a switch here williams is checked in there's a four second difference between the shot and game clock and he commits Throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. Warren finds Adams. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four. Warren, Showing he's more than just a score. This. Warren is good. Yeah! Drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Six. Now a timeout. So, oh my God, this is so cool, crazy. We have to make a game plan. We have 13,000. They have 18,000. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 108 to 114. The pass to Duran. No! And the three off target. And so they choose. It's an eight-point ball game. Pass to Warren. Let's go with a three. That one is off. And so it's Memphis winning this one. Even early on in this game, they appeared game. happy to be playing at home. And it oh makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't. Oh, my God. That was a something. That was something. I would watch this game again. What did I just witness? What did you guys just witness? I have a press.
Alright, we're gonna see what the team has come up with now, and then we're gonna end the video, and we'll have to wait until next time. So guys... I wanna see if I can jump over that click. Saw you on Top Takes Daily, Voss. You were great. Thank you. <clears throat> it's okay? a little bit cramped in here, isn't it? Oh. Well, <laughs> we would be happy to have this meeting in your office, Ashley, but you have a strict no chairs policy. That's right. Yeah, and I'm a male on this one. I'm a big well, fan I'm of chairs. Pro you chairs. think that the, <laughs> the boss girl would have a bigger office, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Nothing more, but nothing less. Should we go to hers? No. Then why don't we just start the meeting then? That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so, like Ricky told you, <sighs> okay, we're gonna slow play the whole win over the entire city thing, but that doesn't mean we can't get started, all right? Okay. Since the narrative is a media invention, we think that steering the narrative through savvy use of the media should be our top priority. I mean, that makes per perfect sense. Absolutely. What's the plan? We have a three-prong attack. Three. Prong one, Lozo the Crown. Yep. Excuse me? Lozo the Crown. A government name, Lorenzo <sighs> Alexander, okay? He is by far the most influential fan of the team on Twitter. By far. And he is solidly, tragically, hashtag Team Shep all the way. What is that? Yeah. He works at a corner store, not too far from here. What? Uh, What's you said a corner store. Yep. <laughs> he works What's at wrong a with the corner store? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Don't start thinking that you're better than people because you can put a ball in a hole. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You got it. I'm I know I'm right. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk over to the corner store, introduce yourself, talk to him, hit him with that MP charm that we all know and love. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in there. And pretty soon he's gonna be singing your praises on social media. Yep. Okay, so uh, what are the other prongs? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Prong number two. Mm -hmm. I've gotten in with uh, Jake Duvall. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yes. Let's and go! Yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like. That is so tough. He's like the OG around here, man. The last real. Though. I'm just gonna do what they tell me to do right now. Cause that next video you guys probably didn't if you guys wanna watch this video, then you will understand in the next video what's happening. That's a corn for me is Alonzo! I'll be Alonzo. Get some takis. I don't want rice. Well, that's not. Uh, hey, what's up, brother? Um, by any chance, do you have any more glacier freeze in the back? Uh, I don't see any in the fridge out here. For who? For me, bro. I'm right here in front of you, man. Yeah, I think we all out. <laughs> so if Chef would say you're selling one? Nah, Chef's my boy. His money's no good here. Your money's also no good here, but for like. The opposite reason. Well, I didn't know y'all two were, like that close. I never seen you two together. Yeah, that's my man's. We like follow each other on social and everything. I'm Lozo the Crown. I'm sure you seen me. Lozo the Crown. Yeah, yeah, I seen some yeah, of your posts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And right. Chef retweeted me a bunch too, so we good. Okay, cool. So if I retweet you, could I just get the Gatorade? Nah, bro. I don't want your weak game anywhere near my account. My weak game. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> in fact, well, yeah. As of right now, you blocked. Oh, come on, bro. You know there's more than basketball. There's just a 40-inch vert, right? 
You know what's wrong with you? You got no backbone. You let people walk all over you. Bro, I just want the Gatorade. That's it. I'm not talking about me right now, bro. You see what Perk said about you? Yeah, he always talks trash. That's what I'm saying, bro. He says you're useless, and what do you do? Nothing. He says you have no upside, and what do you do? Nothing. The man says you're lukewarm garbage, and what do you do? No, no, I got it. Nothing. So you see what I'm saying then? But I don't remember him saying I'm lukewarm garbage, by the way. Oh, he said it. Look, this from this morning. I know I said MP was hot garbage, but I can admit I was wrong. This man, not even hot. He's lukewarm garbage. Same okay. stank, less heat. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, I'm not gonna round myself up over one man's opinions about me. That's not what I'm gonna do. Look, bro, you can do whatever you want to do. But you want to know why we don't rep you? Why? That's why. You think Shep will let that stand? I mean, Shep's gonna just talk. Nothing wrong with talking if you can back it up, bro. But you know what? I'm gonna listen to I don't him think talk. you can get it, cuz... I can't believe you know Lozo the Crown. I followed him forever. Miss, you could be quiet. Uh, I don't want to hear the Lozo, whatever. What do you want to say to Country Perk and Pumpkin? You know what? I like what you said about Perk needing to crank out content. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm gonna say to that? I don't care. I wanna read what he said. Hey Perk, no offense, but your job has to crank out and talk to them. I'm not worried about what you think. I'm not worried about Perk, my team wins. I know I said he was hot garbage. So guys, we're going to end the video right here, and then we're going to play those games one, and the highlight plays. So, without further ado, we're going to have to end the video right here. I just have one thing to say. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to post all notifications on when I'm going to upload again, live stream, or do anything. And deuces.